Welcome back. This is the Morning Bright Focus show with me, Victoria Chabet, and we are on set with David Kibe, and he's here. Going, he's going to talk to us about a very interesting topic. I'll let him do <laughs> most of the top uh, the talking today. Uh, but you can join the conversation through our social media handles, Facebook, Focus TV Kenya, Instagram, Focus TV underscore Kenya, and Twitter at Focus TV Kenya. Remember, we are live in IG as well as Facebook IG for Instagram, of course. <laughs> and right now, we just want to dive right in. So, uh, Mr. Kibe, you can just say yeah. Hi, yeah, hi to the viewers. Hi, viewers. <laughs> Hi, viewers. This is Kibe. <laughs> okay, and the topic yeah. we are discussing today. And the topic is uh, we are talking about sexuality. Oh, right. Sexuality is what we are talking about today. Mm. And uh, you know, it's a very wide topic. It is. It yes, is. it's a very, very wide topic. It's so, interesting because you were telling me the different areas yes. in which this topic has, mm. and I realized I don't even know much about yeah. this then. Yeah. All right, so you just dive right in. Okay. okay. Well. What is sex uh, sexuality? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is important to begin with introduction. Yes. Uh, to define what is sexuality. Sexuality basically is all the characteristics of an individual that relates to sex. Okay. All the characteristics of an individual that relates to sex. Mm. And uh, it has several areas. I'm not sure we'll be able to cover all of them, but uh, uh, the four main areas one of them is sexual orientation. Okay. And then uh, we also have what we call sexual attraction. Mm -hmm. uh, sexual identity okay. and sexual desire. Those okay. are the four areas. I, I, I'm not sure we'll be able to to cover that, but let it flow and uh, let's see what All we right. can be able to cover today. Yes, let it flow. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna start with sexual orientation. Yes. What does it What does it mean when you say that? Uh, sexual orientation means the uh, one's preference uh, as regards to sex. One's preference as regards to sex. Okay. And uh, you know there are people who who, who are bisexuals, mm -hmm. others ah. are uh, homosexuals, right? And others are heterosexuals. Okay. So uh, l l let's begin with pre uh, heterosexual people. Okay. Heterosexual people are people that are called straight people. People oh, right. who are straight. Yes. And their preference about sex is about man and a woman, okay. period. Mm -hmm. You know, and that is basically how God meant it to be. Yes from very, very onset, uh, onset of even the Bible times and lands. Th though uh, human nature tends to lean towards evil and, you know, drawing God out of the window. Uh, so heterosexual people are people who have preference uh, where sex is about, or relationship is about man and a woman. Okay. And now we also have bisexual people. Okay. Bisexual people, their preference is basically both gender. It swings on both sides. By means two. Right. Uh, so we have people who have preference towards ladies, at the same time they have an attraction towards, if it is a guy, he has a preference or attraction towards fellow men. Mm. And uh, if it is a lady, at, uh, at the same time, attraction towards uh, other ladies, but also on the other side, also attracted to other, to other, to other men. Okay. So a man who is attracted to fellow men and also ladies at the same time. Okay or a lady who is attracted to men, but at the same time attracted to other ladies. They are called bi. Bi means two. Yes, so, uh, and, and if you look at the world today, you'll realize that we have those very kind many, of, of qualities. Many, yes. Or, or, it's a lifestyle. And um, some people would, would want to begin or debate about it and say, well, I was born bisexual, yeah, I true. was born, sure. I was being gay, or I, you know, Mm -hmm. And straight people will definitely, most of the time, because of religion, demonize bisexual people, <laughs> right? Um, but biblically speaking, the truth of, of, of the word of God, because I believe Kenya is, 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 is largely Christian. Right. And, and this one tends, it tends to be a Christian TV station. I right. think that's what, that's what I've seen. <laughs> we can, when you talk about um, homosexual people or bisexual, actually, biblically, there's no support for that. There is it. It is highly condemned. But f so that people are able to rationalize that, they'll talk about they are born that way. That way. Or uh, th their genes are predisposed to being, uh, to, you know, to being gay. And so, but if you look at the Bible, you will not see that support. God definitely does not condone that. Right. But the society, because of what uh, I had talked last time about relativism. Okay. Relativism, where people think that truth is relative. 
the truth, nobody has all truth. You know, th th that's the society today, that nobody has all truth. Yes. That all, uh, truth is relative. It depends true. with how you look it's at true. it. It's true. Uh, now, uh, so they say, uh, who are you? You know, be who you want to be, do yeah. whatever you want to be, become what you want to become, <laughs> and nobody is Express going to impose, yourself, you know, you want. nobody will impose your nobody. lifestyle on yeah. yourself. Right. And so there's a whole lot of that because of what you call postmodernism, okay. because of the the era, the, you know, yeah. modern and postmodern. That is the, the, the life after modernism, postmodernism, post okay. is after. Mm -hmm. So this relativism is, is, has really affected people. And so they, they, they are trying to rationalize and say, well, I was born like that. My DNA is like that. Did you know that if, in fact, if you look at scientific data, there's no research that supports that kind of a behavior, that there's research showing all that has either proven predisposition to being homosexual. You know, there's, there's no data for that. Okay. So homosexual people is actually a secondary trait. It is acquired okay. from the environment. Around them. Uh, the, the environment molds people to have that kind of a trait. Right. It is never congenital. Okay. It is you cannot. Nobody is born that way. Okay. Because even when God creates, He creates people, and He created us perfect. He saw right. that it was good. He saw that it but, was good. But but that's talk for another day. Mm. However, it's good to look at it in the line of the scripture. Right. Ah, uh, now there's something else that we need to know that when you talk about homosexuality, that's people think today because, as I said, because of relativism, people think it is a very hard term. It is very mean term, mm -hmm. and so they use the word gay, right? Gay was, we call it euphemism. Uh, but don't worry about that. Euphemism mm -hmm. means people are trying to make it sound better right. by using the word gay mm -hmm. for homosexuality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying he is homosexual, she is, right. uh, people are using gay. Because gay, the original meaning is happy. So people say, I am it's happy. It's true, it's true. Right? Maybe I'm feeling gay about this. Right. No. Right. Uh, now, homosexual uh, women are called lesbians, mm -hmm. and homosexual men are called homosexuals, right? Uh, but the general term today, because of what I said, uh, being soft on them, we are using the word gay. Now, <laughs> there's, in any lifestyle, or, you know, if I quote Obama, or, you know, you remember some, some years ago, mm -hmm. uh, America said that, uh, that every choice has got consequences. Yes. So if I choose my lifestyle to be gay, then there are definitely some consequences. Uh, for men who sleep with other men, there are consequences. Because remember, uh, that is not how it was intended originally. Okay. And I, uh, I, I, don't, I, I don't think, um, well, I, I believe it is important for the audience to be able to know some of the practices of because we can only talk about that so much. It would not make sense if, unless we talk about the activities of homosexual people. All right. Before we go to the activities of homosexual people, yeah. let's just go to another point where we have now the attractions, right? Let's talk about them briefly, okay. and then we can go into um, the details. details. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, attraction means now uh, what really makes one attracted to uh, because, okay, let me, let me break it down. Okay. Uh, when we talk about uh, attraction, we are talking about the mode and the object. Yeah, sexual mode and sexual object. Um, some people are attracted to animals. That's called deviant object. The what? Deviant, from oh, the word right. deviant. If, if I say somebody is devi deviant behavior, oh. right? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a sexual behavior outside the norm. Okay. It's, it's called deviant behavior. So when I'm talking about attraction, I'd like to know whether the attraction, their object or their mood is actually outside the norm or it is normal, right? Because some people would be attracted to animals mm -hmm. sexually, others would be attracted to objects. So we have the uh, event mode and the event object. <laughs> so, and others are attracted sexually to things. That, yeah, I've heard about that. We've yeah. seen several uh, videos, on, especially on YouTube, yeah. where you find someone is attracted to their car and is even married to the car. Oh, yes. Such things. Or to a, or to a pet. Or to a pet. Others are attracted to snakes that they keep. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Th that, that's an attraction. So mm. it's either normal attraction or it is outside the norm. Okay. 
uh, though the society today does not condemn per se because of what we call neutral value society, mm -hmm. uh, the world today is leaning towards a neutral value setup where we stand for nothing. That truth or what makes you happy is what makes you happy. Choose and go for it. Whatever. I don't. I don't have the right to interfere. That's true. Uh, and so people are choosing uh, attraction. Uh, depending on how they feel they want. And they don't There's want to be told the truth. A lot of individualism right yeah. now in the society. That's the right word. Very individualism. True. Individualism. Yes, that's There's right no word. society anymore. You know, yes, the way yes. we used to say society is, yeah. it is the work of the society to raise a child. Nowadays, there's nothing like that. It, it, you know, it's yeah. different. Totally different. Okay. In fact, uh, today, it's not even the work of the parent to raise a child. Mm -hmm. Because the, what we read what we see, what we watch on social media, what we hear from our friends, right. what we see in school, what we see on the streets, is now molding our preference mm -hmm. of sex. But not even that. I also feel the factor in which we now have to work extra hard to earn a living, you know, is making the parents themselves passive. Even the members in the society, they are passive. Yeah. They feel like this is not my responsibility. Let's just, let's just do you, mm -hmm. I'll do me, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it becomes a challenge. We parents are not having time for the kids and tell them what exactly this means. Yeah, uh, at the same time, they are not preparing their children as they grow up for what we call refutation. As I said last time, how, when and how can you say no or yes? Mm -hmm. So that if somebody approaches me to be homosexual, I don't know how to say no. I even do not know when to say yes. You don't because even know if it's wrong or right yes. because you've never had that conversation. Yes, because my parents, when they were bringing me up, they never taught me boundaries. They never taught me about normal boundaries or uh, abnormal boundaries. Abnormal boundaries. So, and then I've gone to a school where I'm having a lot of time with the teacher, and the school is neutral value school. Which stands for nothing. Now exactly. that one affects my free time. So when yeah. I come home, then I'm totally a different person. Parents right. not even have time to see whether the preference is normal mm -hmm. or even to ask the challenges in sexuality. We don't even care the heterosexuality, uh, whether it is bisexual, whether it is um, the orientation is is is, uh, is being gay. They do not care, mm -hmm. but largely also because of ignorance. Ignorance. Because our true. people today. Uh, are taking less and less time to study or to beat themselves. And, and, and uh, just a little bit off cuff, if you, for those who travel to Mombasa or by, either by, by flight or rail, you see, you know, it's, it's basically a flight, was, let's, for, let's not uh, consider a flight, it's 45 minutes, but rail is six hours, or let's say four, five hours. Car is, is largely the same time, amount of time. And because our people are not reading, that time somebody is looking through the window. <laughs> Instead of, uh, or somebody's just chatting. Chatting, exactly. So the you same is happening to our parents. That okay. most of the time is chatting and watching news and reading newspaper. Okay. Instead of del delving into the triangle of sexuality. Okay. So back to where we were that now, um, attraction is either normal or abnormal. Normally accepted by scripture and society largely because uh, in yes. society, there's what we call uh, the conscience that God gave us, okay. which always pricks us when you're right or wrong about certain things. About certain things, all right. Uh, with that regard, therefore, somebody will do something, but when they go to their closet, they will still feel bad about themselves. Mm -hmm. That I'm attracted to an object. Let me give you an example, because this is educative. Okay. Sexual attraction, before we go back to the question that I asked earlier, and you can guide me in those questions. All right. Some people are attracted to objects. There are people who are in the place where you live, for those who live in flats, you, you, you find some, sometimes realize that you are in a way disappearing. Yeah? Whether it, you know, for the ladies and for the men, you sometimes just realize it has disappeared. Uh, largely, the reason for that is there are some people attracted to inner way of people and they fantasize with them. So they steal them and put them under their beds. And they fantasize and get attracted to them, that's, that's an object. Attracted to the object, yes, not to the, the person. Yes, to the inner yeah. Wait, this has happened before. It happens even now. Just disappeared. They will do that. Others would... That, that, that's an object. Others are... Let's come closer home. I think you've heard about these uh, sex toys. Yes. Uh, the other one we were calling last year, that, that was on the trending, Roli Ranani. Samantha. Samantha, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and basically, it is not actually African society that has come up with that, but the Western, because of exposure, first world, first life, first lane of life, they're inventing those things. So somebody is really attracted to an object. But, okay, 
Yeah. Is that really an attraction or it's just an easier route to It's just an attraction. Yourself? That's why I'm saying it's a divine object. It's either a divine object or a divine mode. Okay. Right? Others are attracted to just seeing people naked. Hmm? In the village, you know, the bathrooms are outside. <laughs> or if you go to the slums, bathroom is shared among ten people. Okay. There's there are people who call uh, picking toms. Yeah, pe peeping pe toms. I mean, yeah, not picking. Peeping tom. Yes. Yeah, peeping tom. Because you can do too. When somebody is a lady is having a shower, a guy is yeah, having like a shower. Yeah, like you can do too. Because you can do get satisfaction out of that. But I thought that, like, okay, I know that when we are growing up, especially with boys, yes. it is part of their growing up process where they they become curious exactly and then they move on but, so but you're saying now that right, people but, but it's still stick a there tom. but uh, we can forgive a young one for that okay. right but what about uh, adults? we have adults who do that mutumzima 50 but it's a peeping tom okay that's and, uh, and, 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 and you know peeping tom and abs cutting is, is almost the same you know what is top skirt tell me please you put a mirror under a lady who has a who has a skirt that's abs cutting <laughs> that's still a divan it's what? still a and okay. they get, these people get satisfied. You'd be surprised to realize that these people, oftentimes, they are not able to approach a lady or a man for a relationship. Because ah. they're getting satisfaction through so, other means. So they don't really care. Exactly. Mm. So when you talk about mode or, the, or object, we are talking about peeping tom, abs cutting, we are talking about uh, masturbation, uh, we are talking about kina samantha, you know. Right. Like in it becomes an issue because okay. of what we call relativism based on postmodern era. Uh, so you can't tell them that you're doing something. Yeah, they did. But there is a problem. In some countries, you'll be sued. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, so. Why do you think that is? Why do you think people get attracted to objects and upskirting such okay. things? It's more psychological. Basically, uh, I, would, I wouldn't say is a. I wouldn't say it's uh, it's it's as I say it's not never congenital. It's mm -hmm. actually a secondary trait. Well, let's go to psychological uh, cause first. Mm -hmm. If you had of self-esteem, yes, we talked about last yes, time. Yes, we did talk about self. If somebody has low self-esteem, they are not confident about themselves. Their self-worth is low. Uh, then they don't have the confidence to approach a lady or a guy for a relation, sexual relationship. Okay. So, and because they are not able to speak out how they feel, so they tend to feel attracted to things that cannot speak because they fear reprisal or, uh, th th this is what I'm looking at, they, they fear a bad, resp a negative response. Mm -hmm. And they because fear, I, an, no. a, 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 yeah, an object won't speak. So you better, it's psychological, it's better. Poor, low self-esteem. Okay. And, and actually people who have that more than object do not become rapists. They don't necessarily because of women are and living things, objects, all right? For those who do masturbation, for those who do um, other, other stuff, mm -hmm. uh, a problem with self-esteem, a little bit of that, they are not able to exactly say approach what they want someone. or they don't know how to approach somebody of the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. So it's self-esteem. Yes. So self-esteem is largely the contributor mm -hmm. of the mode mood and the object. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Somebody, if, if somebody is able to say what they feel, then uh, then they can be able to seek a relationship. Uh, say a lady, well, I think I want to marry you, you know. Wana juu vina nakatiana. Lakini people who are, they, 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 are, they are so afraid, unakuta mtu. And that is why these same people have bestiality. Right. Uh, that they're having sex with animals. You know, an animal is not rational. Nivile utayambia. Yeah, and, and there are cultures in the in the Asian continent where people are sleeping with donkeys. You've seen that? No. Yeah, yeah. And, and and they feel that if if you if you have sex with a donkey, then something good is going to happen. Uh, Others think it it is going to enlarge your manhood. You know, such kind of that, those are myths. Right? Those are myths, and they are mm -hmm. so uncouth and so barbaric. But you know, barbaric, like you said, is also relative because to them it's normal. That's what I'm saying. All right. Because as I said, largely it's, it's is because. Really no. Where, 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 where the philosophy at the onset of the philosophy that's where we had we had a problem in in, in setting out truths 
a, a, a normalcy of life. Because okay. the philosophy is about relativism. That's what we are talking about. Yes, we're talking that about. Like, mm. nani. Uh, yeah, yeah. like who Does that what make you happy? Me. Then yes. go do it. Yes. You know, yes. Does that make you f- feel Very okay? Sure. Go do it. Then what's, uh, okay, so then there's no standard, there's no basis of anything you're exactly. doing. Exactly. And that is anything, a huge problem. It is a huge problem. A, because a anything problem. is a yes. It Isn't can yes? be a yes. yes. Even if it's a no right now, it can be a yes can, tomorrow. It, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's mm. that, that, that's the kind of of a fast lane of life we are actually on. Yeah, and, and a little down the, the road, as I keep saying, we'll have problems. And that's why we have problems in, in families, in what, that we cannot really, control. Really. I can get married to somebody mm. who has had a van mode or object without knowing, right? Or somebody who has been engaging in bestiality. Some people would want just to propagate their genes. The reproduction, the line, uh, you know, the lineage, the line of, of, of genetics, you know, want to give birth to, you know, to, to sustain a certain line, okay, my genes. Okay. Mm-hmm. But not necessarily because I want mm-hmm. you as a person or you as a op- person of the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. So I just want a child that looks like me, but wakati huko ni punda somewhere. And it is contributing largely to, uh, to, to even separation, divorce and all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. So we move on to the next. Yes. There's desire and intensity. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sexual desire is uh, wh- wh- what? H- how? The drive. L- l- I'm trying, this is what I'm trying to look at. You know, sometimes well, it, it comes <laughs> to the tip of my tongue. Uh, yeah. is, wh- what really does, do you feel about a certain thing? Or what is your desire? But we can actually link that together, mm-hmm. right? Yes. That um, how intense is your desire? Okay. Let me okay. use that word. Desire is about intensity. Uh, we, we put them together actually. How, how big, how large, how abnormal, how intense is your desire mm. about s- sex, right? right? Some people have abnormal desire. Mm-hmm. Uh, for men, we call, them the, uh, we call them the nymphomaniacs. If somebody is a nymph, N-Y-M-P-H, it means they have an ever-increasing desire for sex. The intensity is so large. There are people who cannot afford, you know, to miss sex like four times in a day. Okay, but then is that born with or it's also attributed by, it's a secondary trait? It's actually secondary. Because everything God did was balanced, it was good. But the environment, right? Let, 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 let me try to uh, illustrate further that okay. uh, you had you talked about first lane of life where your parents are too busy looking for money, right? right? Mm-hmm. And so I have a baby that I live with my house manager, either a boy or a girl. Okay. So what happens is if I do not know the house manager well, others have got a crazy sex desire. And because they are in the house and the baby are kohapo, so they do all that with the baby. They, they are trying to, you know, to cuddle, you know, you, know, you call that one, uh, it will come. They cuddle them, others, you know, they introduce them to sex at a very tender pedophiles. age. Pedophiles. So that's becoming a pedophile. Exactly. Right. Others are, yes, that's the word, the pedophile. Yeah. Huh? Uh, others are not pedophiles per se, but they, are, they become touchy okay. to the kids or the young ones. People who, and as I said, is a problem with psychology, psychological problem. Instead of approaching an adult, you're doing it on a child. If a child has been cuddled sexually inappropriately for years, mm. I'm when they become big, they'll do the same. Let, let, let me try to use a punchline that people molested, people molest others. Yeah. So somebody has been uh, touching inappropriately, uh, tender age. So amezoya yu tabia ya kuguza guzo wa kiwa mdogo. So atenda atafte mtu mdogo pia. Yes. So sometimes na, uh, because of that problem, na atajaribu kutafta mtu mungine sabu ya unge. You know children cannot be able to say no. Mm-hmm. Nakuta mtoto four years. Mm-hmm. And that is why when it comes to parenting, it is vital for a parent all the time, especially the, the mothers when they are watch, watching their little babies. Check whether there's an inner abnormality on the private part. Mm-hmm. Uh, some, sometimes it, it, it is teared, it is bending for the boys, or uh, you know the penis is, is, is bending, or they tell you, Mom, okay. that one should give you 
So we need parents and, and guardians to be more aware and keen exactly. on such situations. Yeah. Another thing is what we call urine in, in contingence. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right word. Where the, a child is not able to contain urine. Okay. Because of molestation, mm. there's too much pressure exerted on the private part, if it is a girl or the boy. So in Akuja, it ruptures the, 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 the sphincter muscle. Okay. Yeah, I'm not okay. medical. But the muscle <laughs> that is able to hold on the urine. Okay. So if that happens so much, there's incontinence, urine incontinence. Mm. I think that's the word. Yeah, so that they are not able to contain. Uh, and if it is not the right word, I think my, my viewers will, will forgive me for that, because I'm not a medic. If the sphincter muscle or the muscle, the, uh, the muscle at the urethra that okay. is able to hold the, the pressure of the urine in the bladder mm. is ruptured, then you mm. So that one should give you a red flag. There's a problem here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see now, so it affects even the society because I have this problem sexually. Now I am molesting a child mm. or I am, you know, trying to expose so a it's child. A circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle. Yeah. Right. And for this child, they yeah. don't think that it is wrong, right? Because no but one is telling them it's wrong. At you say, no, at that age, even at below 12, up to 16, uh, you cannot, that's why, you know, legally, it, it is very serious. Because right. a child is not able to, to, to make a decision on sex, whether it is good or right. 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 If a man is a nymph, an ever-increasing desire, mm -hmm. an ever-increasing crave, that's the word, crave for sex, na a cause and so the others, it and as accommodated to what I said, to bestiality, mm. to frequent masturbations. Okay. Though biblically, let me mention, biblically, the Bible does not talk about masturbation. It doesn't. It doesn't mention And so if, I, I, even if pastors today would take a whole session talking about masturbation, the Bible does not mention it is mom in that area. So for those who masturbate, I would like to talk here and say, really, I cannot condemn them, biblically. Right, because the Bible does not talk about other right. things like sexual, like bestiality, uh, homosexuality. The Bible is very clear. You can go and read the First Corinthians chapter six, mm -hmm. five, or Ephesians five five, or Revelation twenty two fifteen. Mm -hmm. okay. The Bible is spot on. Okay, so uh, and so, but basically, it is a problem. Somebody has is is a nymphomaniac. Mm -hmm ever increasing crave and is a man okay so now when people have been brought up with this uh, characters or traits rather and now it's it's something they say they're born with but it's not true it's and not how it's do secondary. you help such a person yeah Sasa, now it begins with educating people <laughs> must edu like what you're doing now to be aware that aware, these things are aware. not normal yeah, educate right. people it right. is never too late it's never too late but the best place at point to educate is when a child is uh, between four years and eight years. It's called the developmental phase of a child. Developmental phase. Four to eight years, that's where you instill the values that you want. Talk about this. Uh, like, I remember I told one, my daughter one day, you know what? Um, this one. If somebody touches your nyonyos, <laughs> she was six, inappropriately, scream, bite that arm, eat a police on the piggy him. Okay. And scream your, your lungs out. Right. So you were telling your child yeah, exactly. from a young age to know that that is wrong. It's wrong. Because, yeah. I told her, teacher has And no one should. The uncle should not. No Even the uncle should not. Right. At the uncle should not. No one should not. It's a policy. You see? <laughs> okay. And then I was the first to buy the boob tops for her. Oh, nice. That's very So nice. I told her, in sexuality, and, and you know, African culture, we are not very open to sexuality. We don't we talk don't about it. It's talk a taboo topic. It. It's true. And but but, but me, I, I told her, you know what? This nyonyo, this nyonyo, is takuwa wakati tolewa kama mam, isu takuwa zabona yako. Mm. Namu tatoa kumani utaza. Okay. Sasa mtoto na gojo wakati tolewa, nakuwa tapa namtoto. <laughs> so if somebody so comes they are, to touch, they are aware when a Jew is like, you can't do that. It it's happens either with an it uncle, happens. a niece, a ward, ward. It does. Inoculate. And it, it's true. Prepare them right to say there. no. Right there. Right. All right. So we are going on a short, short break, but we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. We are here talking to Kibe David and he's talking to us about an interesting topic, sexuality, where we know in African societies or rather Kenyan, let's just 
stick to home, Kenya, we don't really talk about this topic. And most times you find that the people who are affected don't know how to approach someone to ha ask for help. Sometimes they don't even know that something they're doing is wrong because they've grown up with it, they've seen it happening, it's normal to them, right? But we are here tackling those issues. And if you have any questions, you can ask us through our social media handles, Facebook, Focus TV Kenya, Instagram, Focus TV underscore Kenya, and Twitter at Focus TV Kenya. Right now we have just a, a few interesting questions from some of our viewers. All right, so Mr. Kibe, what is the importance of someone knowing their sexuality? And also, what is the difference between sexuality and sensuality? Okay. Right. Ah. Uh, before I come to that, allow me to just go back a little bit okay, before okay. the break. Let's recap. I talked about masturbation. Okay. Let me make it clear. I said, biblically, there's no text you can read to someone to demonize it. Mm -hmm. You can only talk about the consequences okay. of masturbation right. and, and the psychological implications and the emotional implications. It does not say it is good. I'm not saying it is good. You know, some okay. people will say, I said it is no, okay. No, no, no. no. It's not but I said, thing. biblically, there's no verse we can read. Right, mm -hmm. right. And say that this uh, yeah, is yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So the only way to approach it is using the psycho-emotional okay. aspect. All right. So we are talking about sensuality. If somebody is sensual, sensual means, if somebody is sensual, is somebody who is carnal. A sensual person is somebody who is rather physical, who is also uh, driven by, 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 by chemical mm. in the body. Okay. If somebody okay. is sensual, they have gusto for something. They have, uh, uh, you know, something about, because sensuality, you can only talk about it in relation to spirituality. If somebody is sensual, then there are people who are more carnal, who are sana. Mm. You know, they are driven by the body. Okay, so sensuality. And sensuality basically is what has brought about what I'm talking about, postmodernism and neutral values. Okay. People are so sensual. People are sensual. Uh, yeah, they, they are not because going to... Yeah, yeah. Sensuality is, is actually, you know, deriving pleasure. It's, it's, it's exactly. It's about feeling. me, my and mine. Right. I'm sensual, oh, you know, I want something okay. that just what makes me feel, you know, have the vibe. Of the, the positive mantra, you know. Okay, and things. what is sexuality then? What is the difference? And yes. Is it closely related? Now, now, sexuality, as I said, is any characteristic of an individual that relates to sex. Ah, okay. So this is particularly sex? This yes. other one is yes. just yes. pleasure? Yes. pleasure. That's it. Can food. Canality. If you food. like too much food. <laughs> Laughter, you know, booze, okay. you know, okay. uh, sex, yes. or indulgence yes. of sex. All, All right. these, that's okay. sexuality. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Mm. All right, so then we are talking about the factors that influence abnormal behaviors or and divent, tendencies divent, right yeah. and there was a question there's been a question that has been asked where someone is asking what about the schools that have girls and boys in the same school right is that like a factor that um brings about such yes uh it, 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 that's that's environment and environment all also molds our preference mm -hmm. for sex uh now if it, 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 in fact it happens if you go to some boarding schools if you go to some girls' schools, uh, we, we don't say, don't mention names. Uh, but some people tell you, I, I've been able to talk to a few homosexuals. And you know, homosexuality is for both. Okay. Uh, girls, boys, yes, men. Yes, so homosexuality is the, yeah. the, and they say, the umbrella. I wonder when I went to body school, that's when it started, because I was sharing a bed or I was not sharing. I was sleeping next to mm. this lady or this man or this boy. This is and a man talking. Or because a, of those, you know, you know uh, when it comes to, yeah. Somebody, uh, some, uh, Same some, sex. somebody I was, I was counseling with. Mm -hmm. And they said, and because of this, for example, the ladies would have a desire, either premenstrual or postmenstrual. That desire comes before, okay. before menstruation. That's true. And mm -hmm. so, because of that increased libido at that particular moment, so, uh, and as to Kia, they become fonder, they start touching, mm -hmm. touching, touching, touching. Mm -hmm. And you know what happens? Truth be told, if somebody touches your genitals, you know, with a lot of consistency, you become aroused. It doesn't matter who it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and, and, and that consistency, that time, you know, because it's an opportunity, it is exposure to that environment, right. then you, bec you start to release. That sexual release in a stuki, ah, if those, if I'm touched, if, if, I, I think Tom is, is good, I'm feeling nice, I have a release. So, uh, okay, because you know, it doesn't. Yeah. Because the environment the, has molded. Okay. He's touching okay. my genitals, mm. I'm releasing, I'm touching her, she's releasing. Mm. So, in a stuki, we say human beings are, are products of. Uh, Okay. Yes, we are all products of, uh, of, of, of behavior. We say okay. we are uh, actually, we are all a product of a behavior. 
So, so if something is done over and over and over and over, then we become a product of that. Okay. It becomes a characteristic. All oh, right. All right. Okay. So somebody keeps touching consistently. Yes, right. and then I'm feeling I have a release. He has a release. Yes. So to now, because of so that, you know, the body will feel it. That, that, I don't need yeah. to have a guy. I, I'm, I'm actually. Well, I'm fine. Four years I've been touching so it's and so. Fine. She has been. He has been touching me. Now right. I'm having a secret. So now, it becomes a no. What? So now, someone like this now, how do you start breaking down to bring their mind and everything else to order, back to how they originally met yes. be? So I said, but, but this is the truth, uh, it, it is actually uh, from research, that for a homosexual individual, especially past teenage, for that kind of a person to change to heterosexuality, to being straight, is highly improbable. That's the truth. Especially for? If somebody is gay, right? Yes. If for homosexual to change when they are past teenage is highly improbable. Wow. Why? Because I say it's secondary and it started somewhere past the developmental phase of the child. Okay. It started somewhere past nine on average, past eight years. So in Meshikia, 14, 15, they're about 12. Mm -hmm. From boarding, people take uh, children to boarding from 12, 13, 14, pop, 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 right, all the way, right? right? So uh, they have already, uh, you know, they have already finished, they are outside the bracket of developmental phase. Okay. So what happens? Okay. Well, when they get that one, I said, remember, when you lose a child during the developmental phase, up to eight years, chances are you have lost that child. So somebody has become homosexual past that developmental phase. Okay. The chances of them changing are highly improbable, unless with an act of God. Only God can change people. I cannot change them, right? Nobody changes nobody, but only God can change. But change is in that person, Akubali mm. Kubadilika. However, we can do something as a society to help them. You're right. But how do I help somebody who doesn't speak up? Because Kenyans, we it's say it, they, it's a taboo topic. People it don't is, want to talk about what they're struggling with. Oh, you, yeah? It's true. So how do I help them? Mm. But for those who talk, tell them, I talked about the consequences. Just a minute. Let, Let's allow me talk to touch about this. The consequences. the consequences. Yes. Let's talk about homosexuality, okay. which is which is an orientation. Okay. Allow me to touch on homosexuality on the part of men. Okay. This is what happens. Besides that touching of the genitals, okay. right, and the sensitive, the sensual parts, right, 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 right. The, the high, the highly erotic zones. Okay. Besides touching those erotic zones, now when they get into homosexual practicing, they are, we have uh, virtual and we have practicing uh, homosexuals. Practicing are those now who do it. They've identified, no, I mean, more. now they are practicing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those who are, you know, it starts with touching, touching erotic areas, but as it gets deeper into what we call the homosexual practices. This is what we call rimming. Okay. Rimming is where people insert objects or fingers into the into the ukunyuma, oh into goodness, the, uh, it's the yeah. okay. right? Okay. And so, what happens if I insert my fist or my arm okay. into the anus? Oh, no. I'm, I'm using the anus because it's medical term. It's, it's getting medical here now. The anus, the way God created it, medically cannot withstand the pressure of objects or fingers or hands or even the penis. It can't. Mm -hmm. So what happens? It ruptures. Because the, 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 uh, the rectal wall is only one cell thick. It's very kidogo. Mm -hmm. So for those people who are doing that behind the ukonyuma, it they ruptures. rupture the sphincter muscle okay. of the rectal muscles. So what happens? And I say it to me sometimes, I don't medical, forgive me, I'm not a medic. It rupture, then that's when we have fistula. Mm -hmm. You know what is fistula? Please explain. We, we call uh, it Boil incontinence. That's what I was talking about. You know, remember? I know fistula Even incontinence. From, so now this is boil uh, incontinence. I know fistula from when uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. women. Yes, yes. But you also have fistula in men. So yes. it happens. Can it also be in women uh, as well? Yes. For the anus. Yes. Now, uh, uh, fistula can come because of a, a, a mis, 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 mis surgery. Lab dog, okay. something happened. Yes, true. true. Especially for these women in the past used to go uh, FGM. Mm. 
you know fgm is where they, after they cut uh, they then they, sti they stitch yes. so it becomes tight yeah, now really tight. so when you are pushing you don't have room for the vagina to expand to expand very so strange. your pressure na rudinyuma hey, unapasuka so we have bowel incontinence okay so now here so you go releasing and dropping uh, so that's why people are have are, are, are diapers okay but then okay so then they decide to live with this condition for the rest of their lives because of this particular stigma. lifestyle and also fear stigma it's i happened some some time I, I was i remember i was in the city and this lady just passed very smart but I dropped something huh? well in continent so the guys were just when i'm talking to because i'm they don't know it's a medical condition is either because of somewhere at birth when she was giving birth it's either medical or it is a homosexual lifestyle so ajui wanaza kumpiga ama kumtuka na 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 ngusho chafu kwa barabara you know but if you still i say but let's come to homosexuality that practice of rimming where you insert your hand it's it's okay so you it are ruptures. affecting your health yes unakuta kuna arrow diapers kuna sababu kutazikuta kuna watu wanavanga hizo in fact one if you if you happen to come across somebody who is always ana amengara ndio lakini kuna kasmel fulani hata kibapa film gani chances are i said chances are akona akona fistula Okay there's another That's practice uh, we call it um uh an anal warts okay okay or we call it um uh, so you get warts uh, you get warts uh, uh, we also Is it have all, you get warts outside the area or in the inside just around the area you get some warts and they are very painful and sometimes uh, we also have what call hemorrhage you know hemorrhage hemorrhoids okay. yeah from the word uh, blood blood yes. uh, hemorrhage so that you have damu inatoka toka because that area in a chokoro sana yeah okay? and it's not supposed to others would start actually living animals can you can the... i ask a question yes. do you uh, is it reversible can the sphincter muscle get back to its original form not really original and and, and but actually by the way good good question you asked it's a very to be homosexual is a very expensive lifestyle it must be very expensive that's why people who do it come when maskini utaka unanuka kila saa because umerapcha right because you, you have incontinence of urine and the boils urine as well yes and the boils Why because urine? because you see between the anus and the and the, the urethra or the, the, right, the vaginal right, muscles right. they are very close ah. so in as rapture you are yote you so cannot it's rapturing with okay exactly oh, so, so we have boil and urine incontinence ah. that's the word i was looking for before okay, it's not okay. incontinence it's called incontinence okay, of urine okay. now is why is it expensive because i'll be forced now to seek medical attention in india million tatu kurudishwa you know kurudishwa that you know the boils kurudishwa vizuri is plastic surgery it can't happen naturally for example no, it can't. you abstain it can't. from that for a while in fact unaambi ukenda india kwanza natakana from 3 million kuendelea utaambiwa sasa please unakunywa kauji kale ka soft because ukienda haja kubwa when you are trying to force right. it ruptures again because ile alikuwa kitambo ah ah so you will be like that for the rest of your life chances You're are eating, you'll never come back to normal una kula softy softy soft yeah 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 because to help you in the boil emptying emptying of the boils because it rupture tena it truly is an expensive life and it happens and yeah the consequences are so grave so grave eh we also have uh, other practices that are so uncouth we call them uh, uh anilingas from the word leaking of the, the the anus you know those are the practices so unless we talk about them then our people do not know they get into the lifestyle which they ignore they get into the practices and they don't understand this is a very big topic i did a book on that okay now let's go now to psychological implications of this yes yes just absolutely. just to touch mm. because it's a wide topic homosexuals women or lesbians now homosexual women on average live to 46 years research You know why on average? Mm -hmm. Because the conscience as based in the book of Romans, right? There's a conscience that we always prick us and tell us this is outside the norm, you know, God gave this one and we cannot be able to say no to it. It is pricking us. It is it's a bell that keeps on chiming and telling us no. It's it's a warning bell. When you go to your closet and you have realized what you do, the kneeling gas, the the reaming, yeah. yeah insertion of animals right. the awards right. you feel so terrible about yourself mm -hmm. so what do you do to balance to suppress that feeling or to drown the frustration drugs and drugs and drugs and drugs mm -hmm. so what happens when mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. some of the celebrities in the world because mostly celebrities because of their life they are 
the, 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 the land of life is so fast and it's because of the money well. they are so it's sensual so mtu akikuja anataka anataka kukuguza ni mwanaume mwingine so unasukia sometimes you feel so bad kwa peke yako unasukia mtu alipatikana kwa bad time drug overdose because mostly they are homosexuals because the coach is nakata and that's why not necessarily the stigma it is actually self incriminating it's self um, <clears throat> condemnation yeah Still, you are condemning yourself you're when you're condemning yourself when you are alone. Ah, I feel so bad. Wow, how dare me? Back. And that's where people hide. True. Now, for men, on average, is 42 years. What? Homosexual people in a lifetime, they have random sex minimum 300 people in their lifetime. In their lifetime, random sex, 300 people in their, their lifetime. In the plane, kwa chuo hapo kara 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 kapa kwa kwa chuo mapo kara kara katu random random tu forward there forward there. Madogo daniyo. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Because why? That feeling is so psychological. You also want to do it, hurting people, hurt others. Ah, are you going to be able to hurt others? That's desperation. Okay. It's so so psychological. you're not doing it because you 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 feel pleasure from it. You're exactly. doing it because you want to other people to. Yeah. People with preference for both sexes, both male and women. You get married to them. Then I na say, makama if you're a lady. And this guy, and I said, I mean, I mean, I don't want the, 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 the vagina anymore. Yeah. Please, I want you to turn around. It has happened in marriages. They rapture the woman and put a fistula. So, I cannot be able to contain my balls because of Tom. No, so I cannot be able to contain my So, I cannot be able to contain my balls. If you dig deep, one of the reasons could be because of Such. the sex deviant behavior. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. This topic is so huge. Now, how now do we start helping? <laughs> Or moving away from this now. This kind of forums are good. Okay, talking, talking about people, it. telling people, and realizing the consequences. As as well. yeah, the ah, developmental ma, stages. Ma. You've said it's yeah, from yeah. Uh, from one to four, eight. Four, four to eight. Four to four eight. As you go to Kalamu, you don't go to Kalamu. What you touch? Now I'm going to go to Kujo Nyambi. Ah, okay, okay. Mm, they should. They if should. If you don't do that, you make money, give them money, but you miss them out on the important facets of life. To, and like you've said, hurt people, hurt people. Yes, hurting people hurt others. Mm -hmm. yeah. And misery loves company. So oh, if you're exactly. miserable, you want other people to be miserable with you. Yeah, well. so that you, because of that pigeoning <laughs> and poor me and you know uh -huh. and oh 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 oh, 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 oh yeah, you know that feeling. Yeah. So you want people, right. you want people who uh, come so that you pigeon, and they have those group hugs, you know. Mm. Yeah. But on average, you know, because people don't live on. I said on average. I think our viewers will understand what I mean by on average. No, no, for on six average, years for women, for two for men. Yeah, it just means around that time yeah, yeah, is yeah. where people mostly. All right, so mm -hmm. we are almost winding up yes. this segment. Uh, we cannot finish. We cannot. Finish. It's too wide. It's yes, too wide. Maybe wide. just some last words, and then we can wind down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now, um, I have talked about. Uh, 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 ladies, uh, men who are have an, an ever increasing crave for sex, they are mm. called nymphomaniacs. nymphomaniacs. Uh, ladies are called satyriatic, satyriatic women. They have an ever increasing okay. desire. This, this a Just a, a normal crave for sex. Uh, if you research, uh, there are people who akitaka tu kwenda break dogo. If it is work, akina tu break tea, they want a quickie with somebody. Mm. Akina lunch time, they want a quickie. Right. After work, fine, okay. they want a quickie. Okay. Before I enter bed, and it is it is so abnormal. Why it started somewhere? Mm. Because there's they, something they are trying to, to trying to look for, a certain okay. happiness, uh. and they are not getting it. So they think they'll get it in abnormal in or overt sexual uh, interactions. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so, so when it comes to attraction, orientation, identity, let me talk about identity as I wonder. Yes, identity. Sexual identity. Is basically how you identify yourself. You've seen people who they are men, right? But they are becoming women. They are called transgenders. Yes, from the word transgender, and, uh, yeah. from a man to a woman, and they or even from a woman to a man. Surgery and everything. Exactly. They go. To, we call it sex re realignment surgery. Okay. SRS. Mm -hmm. Sex realignment surgery. Realignment mm -hmm. surgery. They are trying to look at that, and you feel. I think, Mom made a mistake. Ah, God does not love me. How dare He make me a woman? How dare He make me a man? Mm -hmm. So, you, if you have money, it's a very expensive process. You go. It is happening in the first world. It is. You go look for a doctor. It is. Pay. It really is. You know, if you're a man, you want to have those. You know, the, the breasts. You want to have. Uh, you know, uh, the uh, the hip area. You want it, it enlarged or more pronounced. Mm -hmm. You get sex. For men, they, if you have a, a penis, you are now looking for a vagina. Oh. And so what happens, 
uh, is that Isn't now that medically whole process painful it is expensive and also painful but you see this what we call wana kudunga sindano wakifanya hivyo but you see what happens naturally speaking you will never become a woman never you can also never become a man because uh, you know you only do that nikitu tu because you can never give birth it's true and then you will have to be taking pills pills again. every time pills and and, and uh, for example estrogen if, 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 if you are a man unaongeza more estrogen mm. if you are a lady you are unaongeza more testosterone mm. is it uh, uh, pro- yeah, progesterone tes- or something testosterone yeah, testosterone so yeah. unaongeza more so that you, if if you are a lady you want to become a man you shed more hair shed it off mm. yeah, you become low, the, the voice becomes a Deeper. little bit feminine oh, the f- for, for the, the lady okay, the, okay, the, okay, the, okay. the lady becomes you know when mm. you depending on the gender you are trans transitioning to and so it is a very ex- expensive practice and and one of the ways to identify a transgender in identity is what we call a cross dresser mm-hmm. unakuta mtu mwanaume akina vanga kidemo that's a that's a killer problem but let me with, let me ask you yeah. like, babe right now um there's no really a cross dresser because everything is permissible as in it's permissible because like i'll find a guy who's wearing something that kind of looks like a dress it's not really a dress but it kind of looks like you see and yeah. how then do we know it, it's very hard to know that's why i say it's hard uh, as you're saying because of the philosophy the philosophy Relativism. okay just before we go on we have a few comments from facebook tim dennis deno is saying watching from gara nairobi thank you dennis um Dennis yes Patrick and Nyaga saying enjoying the show from Gara DJ Max the Brownie the show is more educative uh thank you i hope you're in, uh, learning something Liz Liz Joshua is saying enjoying the educative show Jane Cubs is saying what about kids brought up by single parents and happen to be molested and can't tell mm-hmm. the parents mm-hmm. cuz maybe they are of, of the they are of the opposite gender whom should they tell and what should they do mm. yeah Oh that, that, that that's huge. That's a huge we can talk about that next time because yes. time is truly yeah, yeah, yeah. not we'll talk on about our that, side. About kids who are molested right. uh, and, and uh, maybe because of single parents mm. it becomes a challenge. Right, we it, will handle that yeah, yeah. next time. Mm. But just let's just wind down because mm. we have a few minutes left. Just okay. like five. Maybe uh, you can now lead me to a few questions <laughs> that you think uh, You can talk about to... that one, the Jane Jane the one uh, for Jane the kids. has asked, yes. Yes. Uh single parenthood whether you are you know you are a father raising kids alone or your mother or a lady mm. uh, raising kids alone mm. becomes a huge challenge in the society today why is it challenge uh, because you are not able to balance mm. there's a role that man was given by god to play in a family okay. right but because of what is happening we cannot really control somebody has just left marriage or has left a relationship yeah, or union yeah. and so yeah, you you have no option You're but raise kids alone re- yes. it becomes very difficult but as i said start by what we call refutation start telling your kid anti akikuguza hapa kwa nyonyo ama anko mm. okay mm. and then not only that okay, kuje, John, let me give you an example if your child is always your kid is always happening kwa nyumba Lucy Goosey, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, Nambi Pambi, mm-hmm. Jumpy and Jumping there, around, right? being so happy. Then that is positive mantra, it means the environment is it's conducive. Good, but but if there's a problem, you know, kifika mtoto anakuona, anakimbia mbio na analia sana. Okay. And this is all the time. Yeah, and ukingia kwa nyumba, you realize that the child has called into a ball somewhere, is frightened. Lakini ukikuja analia sana, it's a problem. Right so that is a problem you should look out for such areas. Yeah exactly. So always look at that. There's a problem there. Uh like if when you go out and come nakuta mtu ana furai then when he's coming to ping or you know anakuambia there's no pain. Yeah ko sawa. Ana miss uh, the, the, the auntie uh, mwanyona okay. kana eh uh, always and happy. Uh, uh, Lakini nakuta analia lia kuna uchungu wa kioshwa. There's a Red problem. Flag. Okay so right. <laughs> we cannot finish this segment obviously obviously but uh please keep sending in your comments please ask those questions we have someone who can help you and uh come up with solutions for issues that we are going through and let's make this a thing where we talk about our sexuality so that it's not abnormal anymore and that we cannot have hurt people hurting other people all right so to healthy societies um this has been the morning bright focus show my name is victoria chebet and remember we have uh, the focus journalism hub if you want to study journalism if you want to do videography motion graphics anything anything we have the school right here for you with tailia house fifth floor right here in thika all right so see you tomorrow for ta- uh, for talent thursday and remember we love you guys i love you guys so keep sending in your comments your feedback we feed on your feedback all right so see you and have a lovely lovely day thank you very much all right mm. bye bye